There are many teams that I think are exciting to watch this year. I think Bath, who have the eagerly anticipated arrival of Sam Burgess into their midst. I think we're all excited to see where he will feature in what position. I think it's particularly difficult for those guys trying to convert from league to union to come in and step into a, a very technical position like the forwards or the back row, where you've got line out scrums, you've got the breakdown to contend with. I think just put him in the centres, give him the ball and see what he can do. I suppose if the underdog teams want to break the monopoly of, uh, of those top five teams, then they just need to go out and perform. But more importantly, they need to make sure they, they win their home games. I think if they can focus on those home matches, make sure they guarantee a win there, then they'll put themselves in a better position and give themselves more confidence going forward into those away games and to the matches at the end of the season. They can see themselves in stronger position mid-table and then push on. At the end of the day, post-Christmas is the most important period of time. It doesn't matter how you perform up until then, as long as you get it right in that last half of the year. So Wasps have always been great at it. Leicester have done it in years gone by. They've gone from 10th or 11th in the league to finishing in the top four. So it's, they have to learn how to manage that season and not throw everything into the first half of the year. With England's elite squad being announced in October, I think it certainly creates a lot more excitement, um, probably a lot more nervous energy for the lads because it's giving the coaches more opportunities to see those players that, that are actually in form and picking on form going into that round of, uh, of matches. So it puts pressure on the players, but that's what you want. You want guys to be playing well and the, the guys that are playing their best you want to be in the international setup, not missing out because of a deadline. Building up to the World Cup in 2015, the pressure on the players will be building now game on game as they get closer towards the end of the year. So it's a massive season for rugby and especially Premiership.